Hey, what's up, everybody? Extreme Car Breaks here. I was going to come live and do this, but with it being a, pretty much a holiday weekend, I didn't want to interrupt anybody by flipping on their phones. Plus, in case I make any errors talking, I want to be able to, you know, stop the recording and start again. <clears throat> what I want to talk about real quick, some updates that's going to be coming to, uh, to the website by the end of the year. And that way it kind of gives you guys an idea of what's going on because we're growing. And uh, I want to try to get a couple things incorporated into it. So first, I want to say thank you, everybody, for sticking with me. It's almost been two years now. Um, I always appreciate the quick payments. I'm hoping I get some of the big hits for you guys and the shipments coming to you guys quick and securely. There is a 1983 Topps baseball break. Uh, it's, uh, it's a sealed BBCE baseball card exchange box. It's a wax pack break. We'll random all the wax packs up, and you guys will get to see it. It's something new I was trying, but it's been sitting in a store for a while. But we're going to do that tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, was it September 1st at 1 p.m. Eastern? So I just want to hit that real quick. It's already been posted, but just in case you're watching this. All right, the second thing that's going to be going on, this will not start till sometime, I'm guessing, next year, beginning of it. You might start seeing some of it hitting in the, in the store, but uh, it, it, once it comes official, I'll post it. Instead of us using eBay to auction off teams and such, we're going to build it into the website. Uh, one, it's just because everybody knows eBay fees are outrageous and everything, so... We're looking at doing that. There's some coding that's got to go on, a lot of trial and error with it, and we're going to see how it works. That's the first thing we're trying to do. More than likely, this will happen. Um, I just got to get to where it'll be on the site to where you guys can do it. And it'll, I just got to figure out how it's going to get tabbed out. That's pretty much the harder part. The coding, I think, is there. So that should be happening sometime beginning of 2019. My shooting date is uh, New Year's on uh, 2019 for it. All right, the next thing somebody brought up, and we're going to incorporate because I think it's a great idea. And I'm always, if you guys have an idea, email me, extremecarbreaks at gmail.com, and I'll look at it. We always will try something new. It might not be the right time to do it until we get a you know a bigger audience into it, but it's stuff I write down and I look at trying to do for everybody. This here, somebody said, hey, why don't you put cards up for sale on your website? And since everybody knows if you buy anything out of the store, you get a 5% credit. That just is basically us splitting eBay fees in half, so I don't have to do it. You'll get a 5% credit if you buy it directly from the store. Whether it's a box or a break, it'll go on your account usually within 24 hours. So far, I've been manually doing it, so it's been 24 hours. So what I'm going to do, I'm not too sure when it's going to start because i got to look at how to do it, you know, with a wide range of cards on there for you guys. But what I'll do, it's going to be bigger cards. It's not going to be like $30, $40 cards. We'll probably look at like $50 through, you know, $1,000 card on there. Cards will go up there for sale. And I'm going to have to try to keep up with it. So that's why I probably only need about 20, 25 cards on there because, you know, guys know prices go up and down. So I want to try to keep it fair. You'll be able to use your credit to buy the card or you could buy it outright. You could use a mix match onto it. So, example, Bo Jackson, last one, I'm just going to say sold for 150 on eBay. I might list it on there for like, say, 120 So if you want to buy it outright, you can. If you have 120 in credit, you could just use that card's yours. Or you could say, well, I got 50 on credit. I want to pay the other 70 And it's going to be something you guys can do. So it was a good idea. I liked it. I never would have thought of it. So we're going to do that. Um, my goal is to have that done by Thanksgiving for everybody because I want to be able to get a nice selection of cards for everybody in there that will be quite popular for you, not just throw a bunch of stuff on there and let you all you know, be like, oh, there's nothing on here. I'd rather get quality on there for you. So that's something we're going to look into doing. Take a little bit of time to get it together. Once it starts rolling, I'll have the backwash, I guess you could say, of cards or back, back stock, and it will be on there. All right. Fourth thing, I'm not moving away from the Facebook group. That's that's there. It's always going to be Facebook you know, with a YouTube stream. 
to keep the YouTube going, I know a lot of you guys watch it from work because it's a lot easier than the Facebook to do it, which I'm perfectly, I'm happy it works for you guys and everything. I want to be able to maintain the uh, hours and the numbers, subscribers and everything on YouTube. So somebody brought it up and I thought it was a great idea. I just, I have a plan for it. We're going to run a couple test runs on it with something small. So what it'll be, it'll be a giveaway on YouTube. So all you have to do is be subscribed to the YouTube channel and comment on a thread. So I might make a video that says, you know, uh, Bo Jackson, 2018 National Treasures, numbered blah, 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 out of blah, blah, blah. We're giving this away. I'm just using the day on Labor Day. You guys have until, you know, 11.59 p.m. Eastern on whatever the day is before it to go onto the YouTube, be subscribed, and then... Comment. You can comment anything. Put down me. Yes. Please. I love Bo Jackson. I mean, keep it civilized. Don't put anything like really crazy because you guys know some people's kids look at that. That's the only thing I ask on to it. Um, and then what we'll do is on that day, I'll take everybody's comment on to it. We'll random it up. Top person gets that card. And then I'll post on there. The way it'll work, so that way nobody's trying to say, oh, I'm so-and-so, because most of you guys are on the uh, Facebook group, and there's guys that are off of my store that don't do Facebook at all, so I want to try to make it fair to everybody. So what I'll do is I'll run the video, and they'll say, you know, I don't know, say you have some kind of, like, other than your real name on there, say it's like, um, I don't know, I'm just going to make something up, you know, Card Collector 3000. I'm going to say card collector 3000 has won. Please drop your email. I will then take that email that you drop because I'm going to make sure it's the same exact screen name on there to the person that's subscribed. I will send you an email. You'll return, give me your address, and I'll mail the card out. So it's going to be something different. It's going to keep the YouTube hours and subscribers up to be maintained so we can have a good channel on there. And it, it, there's all kinds of stuff that comes on to, in case you guys didn't know. So many subscribers, instead of writing out all that big, long code, I get my own personalized code. Uh, I forget what. It, uh, there's like the super chat and all this other stuff that comes on there, but it comes with hours watched and a uh, uh, number of subscribers. So we're going to do that. I, I like the idea. And uh, it actually came from somebody who doesn't do Facebook at all. They have no Facebook account. And I don't blame them. I mean, a lot of people that are older, even older is my age and above, I'm over 40 now. So uh, they don't do Facebook. So I completely understand. So we're going to do that. It'll be a YouTube giveaway. And then I'll announce it in the Facebook group and all over social media so everybody will have a chance at it. So we'll, we'll start that very shortly for the first one. Um, I'm going to find something, you know, it's up, that's decent to give away just as a trial run. And we'll be doing that. It might be a monthly thing. It might be a weekly, bi-weekly. I haven't really decided. Depends on how much I should say, I don't want to say action, but how much, you know, attention it gets on to. If it gets a lot of attention, then we'll start doing more of them. It's just something different. It might be boxes. It could be anything being given away. So... It's just something else that's going to be done. That's going to be our, probably be the first thing that's going to be done. Then it'll be the cards in the store for the credit. And then it'll be the auction on the website itself. It's something that's a long-term, short-term goal, but I'm looking to get that done. The last thing I want to talk about somebody brought up is like, hey, man, I like to buy a box of cards off of you, but I want to like kind of like pre-order a type deal before the release. And you could... And, whether you want it shipped or ripped, I can do either one. And I kind of like the idea because I understand where they were coming from. They basically, uh, you know, I got it. So if I know for sure, like, my distributor says, hey, Extreme, you're getting, you know, a case plus three boxes, or you're only authorized four boxes of this, or we'll use XR football. I know I'm authorized six boxes of XR football. So I could, as soon as I get that confirmation, I could put it on the website, and you could pre-order your own box. I could either rip it or ship it when it comes on release day. Totally up to you onto that, and uh, you can get locked in for a lower price. Because as you guys know, up to release day and then release day after, stuff starts going up in price depending on the product. Some stuff drops, but Panini pretty much keeps its price with us for about I think it's 
three weeks or four weeks, might be six, I can't remember, but it has to stay at a certain mark. But stuff like tops, and I'm going to give a perfect example, um, if I had loose boxes of Bowman Chrome the day I knew everything was going to be good, they might, I'm just throwing a number out there, I'm not even too sure what it was, they might have been $100 a box for Bowman Chrome Hobby then, and now they're sitting at 130 a box where somebody could have pre-ordered it at 100 I knew I was getting it, so we were good across the board. So we're going to do that. I liked it. It's a good idea. We started on there now. Leaf Trendy's on it. XR Football's on it. And there's one more. Spectra football because those are all loose that you get full cases So I'm going to give everybody the opportunity if they want to buy a box they can if not then we'll work around and see how we're going to break it and stuff like that uh, I'm sorry. There was one last thing because it was kind of like a two-part thing. I got emailed the other part of it was Hey, I want I know I'm trying to think how they were it was basically I know you wait for a checklist to come out before you release the product and everything but can you put it up there in advance so I can be like, oh, I know Extreme's getting collegiate football flawless, a case. And I, so it's a good idea, so I'm going to do it that way. What I'll try doing is about three to four weeks out before a release date, I'm going to put the break in the store. It will not be for sale. It will say sold out on it. But it, you'll notice it's, it'll have something in the comments, that, you know, this is a release date here. And it's guaranteed that I am getting this in. I was allocated that much of product, so we're going to break this. So it's kind of like an alert, like, hey, he is getting this in. We're good. Instead of them watching the video with me talking, saying, oh, I got three cases of Bowman's Best confirmed, whatever. I, I can see how stuff gets confusing with so many breakers out there. So I'm going to do that as well. So just real quick, I just want to hit what we talked about as a real quick recap on there. A3 Tops Wax Pack, uh, BBCE, sealed box. That's going tomorrow, Saturday 1st, 1 p.m. There's still a bunch of spots in it, but I know a lot of people have some money tied up and want to get it broke. We're going to break it. I hate holding stuff. I think we've held it for like a month since national, so it's time to, time to get it going. Like I said, whatever's left, I'll take. Um, I've always I have wanted to build an A3 Tops set so I could probably start and get another box and finish it. All right, we will get auctions on the website. I'm looking at January 1st next year, 2019, so appreciate it. Um, we are going to start putting some cards for sale on the website no later than Thanksgiving, okay, because I want to be able to get a nice selection to start off with in here without grabbing stuff out of my PC and putting it on there. Um, and you'll be able to use your credit. You can either be pay for the card, use credit for the card, or combination uh, payment plus credit. And remember, it's 5% anything back. Now, the only catch is going to be there will be no 5% kickback on the cards for sale. Every, still, the boxes, the breaks, the, anything like that will, but that won't because I'm going to try to keep the prices very, very fair on to it. All right, uh, we will start doing the YouTube giveaways. Give me a week, maybe two weeks till we start something on to it. It'll be a couple of test runs, then we'll start seeing how much the engagement was. That's the word I was looking for, engagement. Uh, on to it and we'll we'll start judging how and what and how big and see how often we'll do it We will do a pre-sale boxes once it's confirmed so that way if you guys want to lock in at a lower price in the box that I know I'm getting guaranteed we will do that. That is a great idea and same if I know I'm just using flawless collegiate because I know I'm getting a case in it's coming out in like two weeks I'll put, I have it in the store is sold out you guys know I have it and then once I see a checklist, I'll release the pricing to teams. I liked it. Very good. Again, if you guys have suggestions for me, I'm all about it. Um, you can email me, extremecardbreaks at gmail.com. I'll see how we can get it incorporated onto it. If you guys, any ideas you guys have, I'm, I'm here um, to, try to try to make it fun. You know, at the same time, not something that's super expensive onto a break to where it's just outrageous onto it. That's why a lot of times when you guys ask me to reorder something, my prices would have to go up compared to what I paid on pre-order for. That's why I try to say that offhand. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I thank you very much for everything. 
Um, look forward to all these changes happening. I think it's going to be some good, good changes. I appreciate the input and the ideas from everybody on it. Um, I'll get to work on this stuff. We'll get this stuff happening. Sometime uh, next year, there might be a time where I take a Monday through Wednesday off once I find a house I want to buy out in the area and stuff for the move. Shouldn't affect us too bad. I'll still figure it out to do the breaks and everything in between all of it. No big deal on it. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I said, I'm sorry to do this live, but I want to be able to keep to my thoughts and not watch, you know, a ton of chat flowing. And I didn't want to interrupt you guys at the same time in the middle of a work day or anything like that. You guys are more than welcome to feel free to hit any comments because I'm going to place this on YouTube and Facebook onto it. You can email me directly if you're like, hey, um, I like this idea, but it might work better this way if you do it. I'm, I'm game for it. You guys see... Tons of breakers out there. You kind of see where I want to go with it. Maybe there's something I'm missing that would make it easier. I'll feel free to hit me up on to it. Again, thank you guys. Have a fun, safe uh, Labor Day. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. for that 83 Tops BBC sealed box uh, wax pack break. A random wax pack. All right, guys. I'm out. See you guys later.